Hello everyone, Derek Diablo, Diablo TV. Like and subscribe, do things you're supposed to do. And for those who've been following the Diablo vs. Tommy Robinson, real name Stephen Yaxley saga, and for those who have not been, in a nutshell, I was in negotiation with the Zone Boxing and I arranged a boxing match between me and this fella, this Tommy Robinson chap, who's a right wing football hooligan. I'm a left wing football hooligan. So the notion is this hooligan boxing card with the zone boxing so you can look into it there's a lot of material to go into it's very compelling uh so we, i've already posted the voice note from lee eaton of the zone boxing telling me that this tommy robinson is, is has agreed to the fight and that we that our contract is on the way so he sends me he orders me to go to plymouth whereby i i'm meant to go start training and the contract's on the way so i do so and the contract never comes. Bottom line is what happens is that Tommy Robinson backs out of the fight. He gets scared. People tell him, the, the, you've been pranked. It was a hoax. What went on? It was a publicity stunt that Diablo wrote. He was only playing around with you. So I, they say it's unsafe fair. But this guy's a street fighter. And he's a hooligan. What's he care about if it's a, a safe fight or not? It's going to be with the, even with no gloves, if it's gypsy style or whether it's gloves. It's still a fair fight. And the fact is, he attacked me. And as far as he knows, with two other guys. He attacked me, he tried, even though they couldn't do any damage, and even though I was in control of the situation, even still. So I want a straightener, that's a British tradition. You get a straightener, you get a problem with a man. Doesn't involve anybody else, no weapons, these, right? So glove, they're not glove, bomb. So we got it worked out, I think, and then next thing we're not hearing back from the lead, and then that falls apart. So then, no, then his side just won't talk about it. So then I start getting creative, don't I? And I, I start figuring out, oh, okay, well, I'll make this guy sign the match one way or another so then i start threatening i'm winding them up but i start threatening on videos i'm gonna press charges so the fact is i can press charges on him and colin mice and peter mice and the central club podcast sue them for everything because they, you're not allowed to tax somebody like that and it's a hate crime too it's politically motivated so if i want to but this guy even after threatening all that the guy still won't sign he doesn't care if everybody else goes to jail and everybody else loses all their money he's that scared to get beat up in a boxing match but simultaneously, now I'm out and about living my life doing crazy stuff. Carefully Castle, going all over South Wales with my mates, going to football in pubs on the, on the piss, on a sesh. <laughs> you know, and I don't really have uh, internet everywhere. And I'm, not, I'm too busy living and doing stuff and getting tested. After that, I'm getting into a bunch of fights. People wanted to have to test me out, you know, everywhere. So uh, next thing, the, the man like Kesto One, the great Kesto One, Big Rat TV. Hurt So Good podcast. Have a look for that. He just had Roddy Moreno of the Oppressed on there. You understand? Big up to the man like Kesto. So then Kesto, watching this unfold, once I start, once I make the video threatening to press charges, then this enter Danny Thomas, Danny, aka Danny Tom, Danny Tomo. This is Tommy Robinson, Stephen Yaxley's manager, and like his bodyguard too. He fights. You see him fighting and stuff. Uh, fighting against the left-wing people and everything like that. So then, by me starting to thre threaten to press charges, then the Danny Thomas starts uh, talking on the video, but I don't, I'm not paying attention to the comments. I'm busy, I'm making more videos, I'm living. So then the, the Danny Thomas starts saying, oh, what's up, we're ready for a fight. You're the one that's hiding and this and that. And as soon as Kesto, Kesto won, his partner is Dean Cooper. Southwest boxing champ of England. He's the one who brought Mike Tyson, brought Butterbean. He'll be bringing me. He's my manager as, in relation to this fight. Kesto won, Big Rat TV, and the man like Dean Cooper. So then instantly, once they see this Danny Tomo talking about that he's ready for the fight, then D then Kesto jumps on top of him. Boom. They start negotiating, and it's going to be on. Boom. Now they start looking after me. Now they're taking care of me. They got the place ready for And then the real Tom and Robinson... For the, the, who this one took his name from, of Luton Miggs, I met with him, with Kesto and Cardiff, and he agreed to pay for my training. So he's on my side with it. But anyway, let's, uh, let's get to this uh, next exhibit, shall we? So mind you, this first one, right, this is January 22nd, all right? Then there's another, there's, all this stuff is before I even knew about it. My management, I don't manage my Instagram, my management is telling me that, you know, I've got a million messages, and they're like, oh, you might want to look at this one. So then... I didn't, I didn't even get the messages till this is February 19th. So that, look at it, I didn't hear this one. So watch what this black, watch, you're gonna see the, the change in tone and the change of attitude from this Danny Thomas, Tommy Robinson's manager, 
from the beginning to the end. Have a look. Here's the first one. I didn't get this one until later. Oh, you little sausage. Listen, I organise all Tommy's events. I can get thousands of people to come to a boxing event and watch Tommy fucking take your head off. So if you're serious, let me know. And we'll get it set up. Just don't fucking pull out. Like the little lefty fucking Antifa bitch that you are. <laughs> good one, right? That's, a, that's good for promo. I didn't even hear that one. And Derek, then he writes here, you know, Derek, you little sausage, listen to the voice note. I, obviously, you can see I haven't seen it because I didn't know about it. Then, it. then this next one, by the time I start seeing it, I start seeing Derek, little sausage. I didn't listen to the voice note because I didn't have the internet or whatever when I, when I found this. But it says, Dell, let's get this boxing match sorted. Send me your number. All right, then the next one he says, if you're serious about fighting Tommy, then get in contact with me. I organize all his events, with exclamation point. So then is when I find out about it. So these last ones are not, I didn't hear that initial one, but it's still funny at any rate. So then here's what I write back. Hello mate, this is Dell. I don't run this page, but get forwarded message. Of course, okay, serious, and was already in negotiations with Lee Eaton and Zone Boxing before I did that publicity stunt. Lee and his friends with Tommy and said it was on, but Tommy has backed out of it after I set it all up, just like his mate Steve Dolan did. <laughs> I'm gonna get another EDL member to do it if he's a coward. Now I started saying, I'll fight any, you know, get, well, I'm over them, woo. I'm trying to think of all different uh, solutions. All right, bear with me. So, going further than my next one, I say, and by the way, you seem, here's really how I am. And by the way, you seem like a gentleman, so don't take anything I say as being hostile, as that isn't my intention. I look at this as a business opportunity to all involve. I say let's do it in Saudi Arabia on Saturday, US versus UK. We will be the undercard. I'm presently appealing to the Crown Prince to put us on the card. In my mind, you know, making videos about it. Then I say, you there, pal? Okay, so I wrote back and we're not, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to agree to it. He's in the greens, not listen to this one. Yes, geez, I am here, mate. A um, little bit of bad timing, mate, because I've just had a baby. So um, I'll be in touch in the next 48 hours, just in the process of having the chats, mate. But um, yeah, I'll grab a number off you and we'll have a chat. Just give me uh, give me 48 hours, bud. Just misses us out a baby, so let me get her all sorted and I'll come back to you. So look, like I said, the guy seemed like a gentleman. He's on that side or whatever, but I don't got a problem with him or any, uh, any of the other guys individually, you know. This guy says, no, nah, skis, a uh, uh, pow, and he just had a baby. So what do I say back for that? I say, thanks for the fast response, mate, and congrats on your new baby. I just got off the phone with my new, with my new manager, talking about Kesto. He will move forward with you and arrange this. He is called Kesto. You'll hear from him soon. And thanks again. So then the geezer write, you know, he writes me back. Or yes, message. sir, mate. That's perfect. Like I said, mate, 48 hours, mate. If he contacts me, that gives me the contact details, mate. I can start chatting to him. Wicked, bro. Nice one. So I give him whatever Kesto's number. Ba ba ba. Just got off the phone with him. His real name is Kerry. Please touch base with him to make the connection. I played your voice note to him so he knows you're busy right now and we both respect that. This is a big opportunity for all involved. Let's maximize it. Cheers, Danny, I'm telling him, you know. I'm going to get busy. Let me know if the number doesn't work or whatever. Respect, mate. Like, I'm trying to make this happen. And I tell him even further, God bless you and your new baby, my brother. Don't mean to bother you with fighting at such a moment, but please have a look at my new image and message forward to Tommy and, and let he and I go completely respectful and more soft-spoken, wear suits like Sugar Ray Leonard style. Throw the public off. Keep them guessing. Keep their attention. So I had made a video once we were agreeing to this. I thought we already agreed to it. So I made a video, if you've looked back, where I, I you know, went babyface and I went, I'm saying, okay, now the fight's agreed upon. It's gonna be good for all of our families and everybody. So I'm wishing him the best to him and his family and a safe training camp. And, you know, to fight between two gentlemen. And I was trying to elevate the thing into a more professional boxing match rather than the, the, the lower level it was on, let's say. So then, you remember the first message, the geezer is telling me, yeah, you know, the sauce, but they playing a character, but but he already agreed to it, didn't he? And Lee Eden, they agreed to it. How about this? Oh, Derek, man. Bruv, you can't announce a fight before we've even had a chance to talk to Tommy about it. What do you mean? Fucking hell. We haven't even got an agreement. Mate, I think we should take the video down, mate, until I've actually managed to sort this out properly. You want a proper payday, we need to sort it out properly, but like nothing's agreed, mate. So it's not on. Right. So the Tommy backed out again, right? And I, so I say, wow, I'm a bit confused. One thing is I don't take down my videos. Most make me look like a cunt, like a negative response, but I enjoy it. Mate, 
If you manage his affairs as you clearly do, you jumped on my comments. We are at the dance. I get it, he's bottling, obviously, but let's be clever. And this is what I did with Steve Dolan, too. If I go into a boxing match as opposed to a fight, say four two-minute rounds, maybe I am tentative, as I should be, win on points, then the discuss rematch never materializes, we go our own ways. Don't let him squander this opportunity I've created. If it's labeled an exhibition, then no gambling, so no problem if I treat it as sparring, yeah? I'm not looking to humiliate him after you've stepped in, mate. You are honorable. A good-looking bloke, if I may say. <laughs> Let's finesse this, mate. We all want to look good, make money. I'm open-minded. This Lee Eaton has fucked me over. I'm not leaving UK without finishing this storyline. If you want to meet me, and you ahead of it, to kind of go over things, I want the pounds, you know? Then I, that later I tell him the last message that, that Kestel lost his contact. So, this, this is the manager, and he was to come on and call me sausage and getting on my videos and everything like that. And now, Tommy, unless you want to make money, or I can get thousands of people. What do you mean? You're his manager. How did he not agree to it? And now, they did, and, they, and then, they, no, oh, you, but you got to take that video down and everything like that. So, the thing about it is, the man, it, it, you got evidence right there, which it's, it's, I've never seen somebody scared to make money and scared of a boxer. So, what if you get his ass kicked? And then the fact of the matter, if that's the case, if everything is that is it, I'll let you go with this. Woo -hoo. I'll let you go with this. Let's go forward. Let's say it's happening. What's the gambling odds? Because if, it, if, if that wasn't a hoax, if that wasn't a prank, if that was a work, if that wasn't a work, if that was if the debate that they package as a scrap, if that's real, if that's what it's meant to look like. That's why I wasn't saying nothing afterwards. I would have hyped it up once we signed, until we signed a contract. And I wouldn't have probably even revealed it. I'd probably be, you jumped on me, baby. You got me. What are you not going to get me again? I would do all that stuff. So there you have it. Danny Thomas, guy seems like a gentleman. So, but here's the thing. I'm going to leave it like this. Right there, you see, I was trying to make it a work. I was trying to make it less than legit to, to make so the Tommy Robinson's supporters don't get embarrassed too bad. But now that's, now, that, that was while I was over there. I wanted to get the money before I left. But now it's a proper boxing match to, to destroy. And then what's the gambling odds? I must be the underdog. How much money you guys got to bet on it? I got lots of people put a lot of money with a problem money on me right there. Danny Thomas, Danny Tomo, congratulations on your new baby. Get your guy, get, get, build him up some courage. You got courage, give him some courage. He, he, so I'm only flesh and blood. 